Now today we're going to be talking about a movie I just picked up and it's called Open 24 Hours. Camp Facer. <laughs> Hey campers, Camp Fisa here. First, I want to say thank you for stopping by the one-stop shop for horror movies, vlogging, gaming, collectibles, and more. Welcome to camp. And also make sure to like and subscribe to this video if you have not already. I appreciate it. Let's dive into this movie review. Now today we're going to be talking about a movie I just picked up from Walmart and it's called Open 24 Hours. Now this one appealed to me because for one, it was cheap. It was only $9.95 or something like that. And for two, I always like to check out the B-rated horror movies, the underground stuff that you never really heard of. This catches your eye and you're like, what's this? You never know. Some of those movies are very underrated. They could be very fun. First off, the cover, the slip cover has like a weird like rubbery, like powdery feel to it. I thought that was kind of cool. I know it sounds weird, but um, I just liked those kind of cases. And in the the, other, the the real cover is the same thing. Anyways, I read that uh, Bloody Disgusting calls it compelling. We Live Entertainment calls it awesome. Welcome to the Graveyard Shift. Now let me tell you what it's about on the back. Don't Breathe meets House of the Devil. A paranoid delusional woman, Mary White, has just been released from a mental hospital for setting her serial killer boyfriend on fire. That sounds pretty, pretty brutal. Mary suffers from, from severe paranoia hallucinations. Her boyfriend, James Lincoln Fields, is a brutal serial killer known as the Rain Ripper. Hence, like, the raincoat. Okay, I get it. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. The Rain Ripper. Um, he enjoyed murdering people and making Mary watch. After being released from the hospital, Mary's vulnerable demeanor aids her in obtaining Mary well sorry my bad I, got, I gotta get glasses I'm, I'm skipping lines here Mary's vulnerable demeanor aids her in obtaining employment and all today junior Mary's vulnerable demeanor aids her in obtaining employment at an all-night gas station However, left alone to her own devices, her paranoia and hallucinations return with furious consequences. Customers and friends suddenly start turning up dead and mutilated all around her. That sounds pretty fun because I'll tell you why. When I started watching it, I was like, this all takes place in one location for the most part and it's a gas station, but they're gonna have to have different rooms and different things going on. And it's obviously not a movie that drifts off, taking place in different locations, who's who, and, and all these characters. You know, sometimes these type of movies in one spot, like the movie Hotel, or the movie um, Vacancy, or the movie um, uh, uh, Strangers Pray at Night, it all takes place in uh, like one little location. And um, those are kind of freaky because it's back and forth, locking the door, trying to find something to fight back with. And um, you never know if the killer snuck into a back window or something. And I, I just like those kind of movies. Now, let me tell you, when she got to the gas station for a job, her, um, her parole officer suggested, he knew the gas station um, owner and he suggested um, her to go there and um, he kind of got her the job. So the owner had one of the other employees come in and train her for like 10 minutes at the most. And um, her, her shift was from 10 o'clock at night to like six in the morning. So after the employee taught her for like 10 minutes, he took off and he's like, hey, if you have any problems or any questions, give me a call. He left his cell phone number. So she's in this like old deserty beat up gas station slash um, convenience store and it's raining out, it's dark and she's gonna be there all night and it's her first day on the job. She's never worked at a gas station before in her life. She doesn't even, she, 
and she's kind of freaked out and she has these hallucinations on top of that of her she just got out of prison because of her boyfriend brutally making her i mean brutally killing people and making her watch he said if you contact the authorities or do anything about this i will kill you and your whole family so that's why she had to sit there and watch these girls be dragged into their apartment and, and um, killed and beaten and all this stuff and um, she didn't want to see that happen but she had no choice so then because she burned her house down and her and burnt him basically alive but he didn't die she in court had to go to jail because of a way that I, it doesn't make too much sense it was kind of self-defense why would she go to jail but she had to go to a prison for however many years she went I think a year or two um, and he was supposedly still alive and in prison and here she is sitting at a gas station all alone all by herself and she's like thinking about this stuff and having hallucinations of like seeing like these girls like ghost type things pop up like why did you let him kill me and like freaking out and um she's coming hearing noises and she you you as a viewer thought like oh she um senses he's there but he's obviously in prison but then come to find out later in the movie he was he broke out of prison before she actually got a job there so he kind of tracked her down knew where she was and was stalking the gas station and she assumed he was still in prison and um the officer the parole officer actually knew he got out of prison but didn't want to tell her so she he was kind of using her as bait he was kind of hoping that he was going to show up so they could get him um and it was one of those like uh her best friend gets slammed in the head with a hammer, um, the claw of a hammer into her cheek, and you thought she died right away. Uh, spoiler, spoiler alert here. If you plan on watching this, you don't want to be spoiled. Stop it here. I'm going to tell you a couple things. She got smoked in the cheek with a hammer. You thought she died because it looked like she, you know, and um, he dragged her and tied her up in a chair. She was still alive. So the Ripper, yeah, he, killed, he brought her into a chair in the back room. He also got the other employee that came back to check up on her later in the movie. He, he caught him too, put him in a chair, and he put the um, parole officer in a chair. So there's three of them tied up in a chair in the back room. He, he grabs his girlfriend, and he brings her back there and ties her up in a chair. So now she's facing the three, and the Ripper, the Rain Ripper, brutally takes a huge sledgehammer and smashes the parole officer's head into pieces. It was pretty brutal. Um, there was a lot of like different things um, that I liked, you know, blood, gore, suspense. Um, I'm, I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna say it was definitely worth, um, worth the 10 bucks. And it is a fun, gory movie to have in your collection. If you're a horror movie collector like I am, why not slip this into the library of collections that you have and just say, I've seen Open 24 Hours. It's a cool film. Gotta check it out. So yeah, there's that. I wanna say thank you for watching. And also, before I end this video, I wanna say to you guys, I do plan on, the people out there that are asking, I do 100% plan on making a new voice disguiser video update. Bear with me, it's taken a while because I have uh, different situations that are blocking me, like things going on around me. And um, I also have a lot of ideas and uh, I'm investigating new ways of, to do the voice disguiser. So please be patient. Stop asking me over and over. I'm not trying to like be like, oh, I'm not gonna ever do it again. Just bear with me. And um, the live stream, gaming live streaming um, situation is still up in the air. I don't know when or where I can do it. Um, again, it's because my kids are home all the time and. We don't have a lot of space and I can't just go moving my whole computer set up to somewhere else because it just wouldn't make sense. It'd be a disaster. Um, that being said, I wanna say thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out the videos. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube share the video with others. It helps let them know that people like the video and it helps share the video. So giving a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it, no matter what, thumb it one way or another and um if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please consider and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and one more thing just remember you guys 
You are amazing. Oh, and stay out of the woods. Got it.